The new design TCC valve uses a single spring and is shown with the previous design level valve with dual springs in figure five. The new valve uses a spring pocket to prevent misassembly by only allowing the spring to fit into the pocket end of the valve. The current design valve and spring can be used to back service the previous design level. The boost sleeve, as shown in figure six, and its corresponding valve have been made shorter in overall length. No components of the current and previous designs may be intermixed nor interchanged together as an assembly in place of the other. There are two versions of the current design boost valve and sleeve assembly with different valve land dimensions for standard and high performance use. The pressure regulator valve, pressure regulator valve spring, and pressure regulator isolator spring remain the same as the previous design. An outline of the oil pump cover and stator shaft changes can be found in figure seven. Great care must be taken if the oil pump cover and or stator support shaft are to be replaced. This is due to the many changes in the oil pump cover casting and corresponding stator shaft sleeve oil passages. These pieces must be compatible with the turbine input shaft being used or transmission failure will be the result. The boost sleeve and pressure regulator valve cannot be serviced from the sump area on units equipped with an input speed sensor because of the location of the ISS connector as shown in figure eight. This operation will now require removal of the transmission and oil pump assembly. Pre-ISS or non-ISS models equipped with an ISS hole plug as seen in figure nine will still allow access to the boost sleeve and PR valve from the sump. Failure to install the ISS hole plug, if required, can cause a result in a loss of converter charge and a no movement condition.